Jared Knight at your station, 88.9 KETR, and uh, I wanted to quickly uh, bring you up to speed on some things that we're doing with Facebook um, in order to uh, kind of get a better idea of uh, how to get hold of your insights and uh, what you can do uh, with some of that information. So uh, let's try to uh, move along here, see if we can't uh, get things started. So um, I'm not sure that that's going to show you. There we go. So there's uh, my uh, first slide here, Facebook Page Insights. We're getting started. And uh, my name is Jared Knight. I generally manage KETR, and also I uh, manage a, a lot of pages on Facebook. We'll talk about those in the end. But you can learn a lot of things from Facebook page insights. The idea here is that you are uh, getting uh, tapping into the information about the folks who uh, like your page, who are uh, trying to become engaged with your brand, whatever that is, whether you're uh, a standalone department or whether you're, uh, you know, trying to do something that's uh, externally reaching like, uh, like KETR does, um, which I'm happy to share some examples outside of uh, this presentation. Um, but I can show, show you some examples as we move along. But anyway, so getting started here, Facebook uh, page insights, uh, an overview of uh, what it is we're going to be uh, talking about today. So the idea here is that if you manage, if you admin a page, if you're an administrator of a Facebook page, fan page, um, you want to know... Uh, if uh, people really care about what it is that you're putting out there, you want to know if they're sharing your information uh, across to their friends. Um, and to help with this, uh, Facebook's going to give you an opportunity uh, to kind of get into some of these uh, these analytics, essentially. I like to call Facebook uh, Insights uh, uh, Analytics Light. Um, you'll learn more about analytics uh, later on today. But So this is a, a, an example of some of the data that you get um, whenever you're looking through uh, Facebook uh, insights to kind of see what's going on. You can get uh, some idea of, of who's uh, paying attention. You can find out how far your uh, your network goes thanks to the folks who like you, um, and you can kind of get an idea of um, you know uh, who's talking about it and, and who's sharing that information. Um, so you're getting metrics. Uh, you're allowing uh, your admins to um, determine the page performance if you're actually accomplishing any of the goals that you set out for. Most of us may have. Uh, either we don't have a Facebook page or we do have one, but we don't know what we're trying to do with it, um, you should definitely have a plan, especially if you're going to be uh, putting aside any uh, a salaried person um, or any part of their time. Um, uh, whether they're, uh, you know, the, regardless of how much they're paid, if they're spending any time, there's a resource uh, that's being expended in order to make sure that uh, uh, the goals are accomplished. So you need to determine what those are and then assess that performance. Um, figure out uh, what content that you're posting is is really gaining ground with with your audience, and then uh, use that data in order to um, to streamline the uh, procedure, the standard operating procedure for posting information, making it available, whether it's, uh, you know, releases of uh, news information or invites or whatever it happens to be. Um, at KETR, uh, we share our news stories with uh, folks uh, over uh, Facebook. That's the way that we use it. So, um, to get there, it's really not difficult at all to do. Go to the page that you admin, and then right below the cover photo on the right-hand side, there's a little gear uh, icon. You click that and then click View Insights and there you are. Um, if you're following along, um, I'll give you an opportunity to go ahead and do that. Um, uh, I might have mentioned that you already should log into uh, Facebook if you want to kind of follow along, but uh, uh, this is a, a, a presentation. Um, we're not actually going to access anything today, but you can certainly get an idea of what it is that you're looking at. So, and once you've accessed your insights, well, what, what kind of information are you getting? Well, right there at the top of the page, it kind of gives you everything in a nutshell, sort of a dashboard that you're looking at. You can find out uh, who it is, the, uh, well, the number of folks who like your page. Um, uh, for KETR at the time that I took this uh, screenshot, it was 885. We've grown a little, but I've got an active Facebook uh, uh, page-like campaign going on right now, so we're growing little by little. Um, the Friends of Fans uh, Network is, is what you really want to grow if you're ever going to try to take advantage of them in terms of um, sharing data. Once you assess the performance of your page, um, you can really uh, you can really reach a lot of people if you uh, if you put, post some information that's engaging, and then the folks who like you um, share that information with their uh, fans, with their friends. What happens is um, you sort of catch a little bit of a virality there that becomes a viral, and uh, and you're talking to more people than you than you could on your own. You can uh, find out. Uh, 
uh, how many people are seeing what it is that you're putting out there, and you can find out who's uh, clicking on it, who's uh, creating stories, who's engaged with the information that you're putting out there. Um, so uh, insights for likes, this is a sort of a lot of data um, right on one page, which is really great, but the folks who like your page, you can see um, you have to have a minimum, I think, number of likes in order to gain access to this, but um, I, it's, not, uh, it's not difficult to do. I think you have to just have more than 100 likes. So once you get there, um, if you're not already, um, so you can uh, get this stuff pretty quick and easy. You can find out um, the gender. Uh, you can find out these age columns. So find out who likes your page. Um, in this case, who likes your page the most for KETR. Uh, we're uh, doing a better with the uh, 25 to 34 crowd uh, than with anybody else, and, uh, and we're following up obviously with the 18 to 24 crowd, um, you can find out uh, where they're coming from. Obviously, uh, the lion's share of our likes are coming from the United States. Uh, further, they're coming from commerce, but we have a lot of likes from Dallas, Texas. Now, that could be um, offset a little bit by the fact that uh, many of the students here at the university who like our page are from Dallas. And so um, where you're from, uh, listed on your Facebook page is where that data is coming from. And then uh, overall, the, uh, the languages um, that somebody chooses on their profile whenever they like you. You're getting this information. You're getting a little bit of um, data on this. As you can see, we have one person who uses Leet speak as their language, um, which is cute. Anyway, um, you can see uh, where they're uh, coming from, uh, whether they're brand new, or um, and, and you also get to keep uh, track of the folks who unlike your page. And as you can see there, those two spikes on the green line, those are the unlikes. So uh, in the past... Um, you know, a few weeks that this data is showing you. We've had two people jump ship, but uh, like I said, we're up closer to 890 uh, folks right now, so um, you're going to make some folks mad eventually. When you get up in the 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 5,000 likes, um, suspect that you'll probably make somebody angry every now and again. Um, so uh, what can you learn from posts? Well, uh, there's a few things that you can pick up from posts. You, you get the reach. Reach is going to be the number of folks who have seen this thing uh, in the past uh, 28 days inside of the last month. And there are three different types of reach. There's organic reach. That's the reach that, uh, that you can accumulate on your own. Generally, that's going to be the folks who, uh, who already like your page. Um, or who naturally would come across the information anyway. That's your organic reach. If you uh, do something in terms of a Facebook ad or a promoted post, then you uh, end up uh, getting uh, paid reach, uh, which is pretty neat. And then, of course, viral reach is whenever those folks who normally would see it um, start to uh, share it with their friends, folks who you would not otherwise have been able to access. Um, and then you're creating uh, uh, virality. Then you're uh, achieving something that you really want in the social media sphere. Um, Engaged users is another uh, thing you can find out with posts. This is whenever somebody clicks anywhere on your post, then they're 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 engaged with your post. Um, spending a lot of time with your post, reading it, isn't in and of itself an engaged user, though you and I might think so if somebody actually takes the time to read it. But if they're just seeing it in their news feed and they, they're kind of passive about it, that doesn't really count as an engaged user. Somebody has to actually click the post. So it's in your best interest to include clickable things in your posts like um, links to uh, websites or links to other Facebook posts or, or whatever it happens to be. Um, talking about this is another... Uh, a metric that's uh, available to you. This is the number of folks who have created a story. This is whenever they like your uh, story or they click like or they share it uh, with their wall or they comment on your post or if you poll them, uh, there's a there's a Facebook poll option in there for page users you can do or you can respond to an event invitation. All of those are things that you're doing that are talking about the post. So this is sort of a, a drilled down uh, version of engagement. And then virality as we talked about, the number of folks who have created a story from your post or about your post and displayed as a percentage of the folks who have seen it. So a person who is unrelated to you, is not already like your page, can uh, call you out in a, in a post that they make, and that gives you an opportunity to be seen by folks um, from beyond that. All of this is available on these pages and, and available in tabs inside there. It's actually a very uh, limited uh, uh, sort of uh, deal that, that uh, you can do, but it's all right there. So I wanted to go into some tips that are uh, available as you kind of play along with Facebook Insights. These uh, reference specific standard time, so know that it's going to be two hours off. Uh, you're going to have to do a little bit of math whenever you see the time of day, for instance, that folks are paying attention to things. Um, mentions, you can mention a page in, in, uh, in your own status update. Like if, if you're using it as, as a user, 
um, you can call out your uh, your Facebook page in a status update. What that's going to do is sort of create a link so when people see that and they want to know what you're talking about, they can click it and, and it gets through to, uh, when they click that, it goes through to your Facebook uh, page. Now, that works uh, predominantly on the web version of Facebook. I don't know that it works exactly the same on uh, on the mobile version of Facebook, but uh, definitely on the web, you can call out uh, pages and folks can see that you're talking about a given place and you can find out when somebody's talking about you. It, it sends you a little notice uh, there in your analytics and at the top of your page. You can also export your insights data as an Excel file or CSV, um, which uh, is great if you want to grab some uh, page level data or uh, data for each individual uh, page post, which is good if you're trying to turn around metrics and give um, uh, measurable statistics to your boss to determine whether or not it's been a worthwhile effort. You can say, well, here's where we are, here's where we'd like to be. You can slap percentages on all this data and uh, actually do a, a weekly report or a monthly report if you wanted to. So if somebody says, well, what are we doing with that Facebook? Are we spinning our wheels? You'll actually have some information to share about that. Um, and you can do some quick data analysis on uh, the admin dashboard, which is cool. Uh, you just kind of select the, the date ranges. If you think something happened during a certain time, you want to kind of see how your page uh, uh, fared against uh, this other uh, event that was going on, uh, definitely you can uh, do that. Just choose the right dates. And finally, uh, use the tips that come with Insights. It's all built in. Um, just mouse over that little question mark and it'll uh, it'll tell you what that number is that you you know it says reach and and you don't want to go back and watch this whole presentation again that we'll try to make available to you uh, just mouse over that little uh, question mark and it'll tell you uh, just exactly what it means uh, the the numbers that you're looking at and so that's the whole of the Facebook Insights presentation um, it's going to take you getting in there and playing with it but if Insights are available to you uh, click around you can't uh, really do any damage on the Insights side uh, you can't hurt yourself you could if you were playing around in ads you don't know what you're doing you could actually cost yourself a little money but uh, Insights it's uh, quick and easy um, there it is uh, my email address you can find my Twitter you can contact me in either of those uh, places um, these are the pages that I administer on Facebook down at the bottom uh, so that you know that I, I do have some, uh, I'm coming from somewhere when I'm talking about uh, administering Facebook uh, pages and, and using those insights in order to grow those pages. All these pages are on the rise. Anyway, um, I appreciate the opportunity to chat with you and uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the discussion about uh, analytics in general. Um, and uh, thanks a lot for participating in Social Media Lion Academy. Remember our hashtag uh, on Twitter discussions for SMLA. It's SMLA, hashtag SMLA. All right, thanks.